chemical elements are forged in stars. And from these elements, molecules such as water and ammonia are made in outer space. In Earth, much more complex ones such as hemoglobin that exist. To understand all this and more, we have to first understand the very building blocks of nature. So today, we are going to look at the atom. You probably already knew that everything is made up of atoms. But did you know that even atoms themselves are made up of many other things known as subatomic particles? But only three matter to us. Let's look at the simplest element, hydrogen, which has a positive proton in the middle and a new negative electron revolving around it. Pretty simple so far. However, everything else other than hydrogen has another subatomic particle known as a neutron which unlike a proton and an electron has no charge for example helium has two electrons two protons and two neutrons protons and neutrons are located in the center of the atom which is known as the nucleus all nuclei of a given element have the same number of protons all lithium nuclei, for example, have a total of three protons. The number of protons in the nucleus of an element is given by its atomic number. So lithium has an atomic number of three, which is generally indicated by the symbol Z. The periodic table is actually in order of increasing atomic number. Atoms, of course, have mass, but if we use the simple kilogram unit, it will get way too messy, as atoms have such a small mass. So instead, we use a different unit, known as the atomic mass unit. And the symbol is Dalton. And one atomic mass unit is one twelfth of the mass of a carbon atom, which consists of six protons and six neutrons. Thus. Such a carbon atom has a mass of exactly 12 units. Now we can use this new unit to represent the mass of atoms, which is known as the mass number. And is simply the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in the atom. This is because that protons and neutrons have a mass of one delton, while Electrons don't count because compared to protons and neutrons, they weigh nothing, roughly speaking around 2,000 times smaller than a proton. That's it. That's really all the basic stuff you need to know about the atom. We'll be tackling more, such as isotopes and molecules, in the future. But for now, thanks for watching.